Today I'll show you the cheat code to create consistent character images or even generate them in any pose you want using Leonardo AI. With this easy updated approach I'll be teaching you after receiving several requests from you guys. You can even use it to make your own storybooks, AI animations or consistent character models. I've also included some free resources in this video to help you guys out with this. So make sure you watch till the end. Let's hop on to Leonardo AI and click on launch app. You can sign up free if you don't have an account. Now click on image generation and turn on legacy mode from up here. Let's choose a model from here. I'll go for Kino XL but you can even go for Dream Shaper or 3D animated style. They work well. Now go ahead and describe any character you'd like. I've described an elf girl along with the name Jenny. It's a good practice to assign a name to your character. It helps maintain the style. And fill in details about the outfit and physical features. I'll provide the prompt template for this below. We'll keep alchemy turned on for the first one. The free account gives 5 alchemy uses per day. Let's set the image dimension to 9 is to 16 and click generate. We get an amazing output here. This is going to be our base image of Jenny, which we will use to create her consistently in other scenes. Let's remove the background by clicking this button and downloading it from here. The rest is simple. We'll go to image guidance and upload the base image by clicking here and select style reference in the drop down, then turn it up to max. Now go back and we'll add an action we want Jenny to do in her house in our input. Also remove no background and click generate. And we get a beautiful output sticking to our prompt matching Jenny's base image. For the next one let's change it to her petting a dog. I'll pick another image dimension and we can turn alchemy off now to save our credits then generate. Pretty neat. I went on to create some more by simply changing the action to get these amazing results. But what if you want an output with a particular pose? Let's try a high kick. Well, even though the character matches the styling, we didn't get our desired pose. So let's learn to create our characters in any pose. First head to image guidance and remove this to upload a reference image in the high kick pose we want. Don't worry, I've compiled and made a collection of reference poses to save you time from having to do so yourself. Just click on the link in the description below. You can pay any fair price you'd like to support me or get it for free by entering zero here and adding it to cart. Just enter your email address here and you can download it. So after the image upload, select type as edge to image. This feature is not free for alchemy models. So select dream shaper v7 and set the strength to 0.6. Now let's head back to describe a new girl sorcerer Anna doing a high kick. Turn alchemy off and select desired resolution. Then generate. Here we get Anna matching the perfect pose. For consistency, click on these three dots and copy the seed number. Now we'll scroll down and paste it under advanced setting and toggle this on. Let's go back and upload another one of our poses also adjusting the prompt and generate again. Neat, these two seem to be pretty consistent. Let's switch to 3D animation model and test the same poses and prompts. We get really beautiful and consistent output. But even though these outputs are very close to each other, you may not get an exact match each time. Let's take it a step further for bang on consistency in any pose matching the exact same outfit. So make sure to subscribe. I'll generate another character in a pose with Kino Excel. You may use another. Once again, we'll remove the background from the image and upload it under image guidance. With our pose already uploaded in H2 image, we'll click on the image input 2 to upload another, adding multiple inputs at once. This is only available on the paid subscription. You can use my link below for a discount. Upload the character and select style reference then turn it up to max and you're all set. Go back to generate the image and we get a stunning result with an exact match to the base image. Let's try uploading another pose as well. I want her angry so let's change the prompt accordingly and generate. Super cool, so make sure to have fun testing this out with multiple poses and character sheets all of which I've provided below and if you're interested to learn to convert these consistent images to 3D models, animations or to make an AI influencer, you can check out these videos. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.